What's up, everybody? It's your boy Hamza, and I'm here with Bella. And what'd you do this past weekend? Uh, I came top 16 at Montreal Regionals playing dinosaurs. Playing dinosaurs? Yep. What do you think about dinosaurs in this meta right now? <laughs> this deck sucks, this meta, <laughs> but like, I pulled it off, so. That's all that matters as long as you have fun, right? Yep. Alright, so let's get into the deck profile. Alright, so starting off with the starter cards, you play your triple over after. Yeah, this card's nuts. The triple baby? Yeah, you, yeah. you don't need to play the. Oh, are these duels league? Yeah, oh, French. Baby. You, you, you don't have, but yeah, pun intended. But yeah, but yeah, but you, you don't have to play that trend on because you're going second, so you're gonna have that extra draw anyways. Yeah, so it's kind of off. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. You don't play trend on in that? No. Okay. You don't need that. And then for the big boys, you play triple conductor. Triple conductor. And double overtex. Double. Why triple conductor? A lot of people I've seen their list. They're only playing two conductors. Because so. a, a lot of people are bad. And so the good thing with triple conductor is that it gives you like a third conductor that I can top deck in most situations, which is what I did to win. Yeah, like, oh, so it helps in the grind game. Yeah, okay. help, helps in the grind game. Yeah. And uh, the decks that play two conductors like this, that play this lineup, uh, usually they do it so that they don't have... And they're like much. more like OTK based. Yeah, and they're more like OTK and they don't really rely on the diamonds okay. as much. But yeah. Okay. So yeah, so that's fine. And then, but this is like a pretty bricky lineup, but yeah. like you have to take the good with the bad. So. Yeah, it's the dino, so... And then for the one of dinos, you play the one miscellaneous orders. Of course, you have to. Broken, just come back to three. Yeah. One, one giant rex because oh. it's, you know, the god card. also broken. <laughs> god card. Yeah. One drac, alo for Another your single It's uh, not a brick. Like, uh, it is a brick, but you can play with it in your hand. Yeah. And then the one dogron because oh, wow. having a searchable kaiju whenever you want is nice. Yeah. It's also fire, which is relevant. A lot of people don't play dogron. What do you think about that? Um, I think that dogron is really, really good this format because. Yeah. Although, because uh, you, you search against striker and kaiju things, mm -hmm. and um, uh, yeah, and e even against that uh, thunder dragon matchup, like yeah. although you can't search it out, but if you still hard draw it, it's still, it's still pretty good. Okay. So yeah, I like it. Now for the supporting engine, I played the triple agnimazad. No, oh, so the two kings. Yeah, so I, yeah. I I didn't play the water. I didn't play Brostos. He's he's not relevant this format. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, so if I was playing a more going first variant, I would play Brostos in it to increase the consistency. Yeah. But oh, like, so this was go second. Yeah, this is pure okay. go second. Pure go second. And I'm just ignorant. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, but uh, cool thing with him is that if you if you destroy two fires to summon him out, you can <clears throat> you can actually banish a monster on field or in your opponent's graveyard. Non-targeting. Yeah, non-targeting, and that's in in the same effect as effect a special summon. So they have to respond in the hand. Yeah, meaning if I go if I, if I have like all three in my hand, and I go effect to destroy these two, to summon himself out, and then I go effect banish, my opponent can't be like strike or like veil or yeah. something. Yeah, oh wow, that's so, broken. Yeah. That gets through the trigate board sometimes. Yeah, it gets through okay. trigate, just helps kill a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, helps kill Colossus as well, because it doesn't target, doesn't yeah. destroy. And then off the hand traps, I played triple ash. Triple ash, yep. Yeah. Uh, it, it's fire, which is uh, cool with that. Oh wow. Uh, triple gamma with the one driver. Yeah. Why not play more bricks? And then uh, you also played the double bell and the double drool. How were these? Uh, so I like Droll at two because the FTK wasn't really as prevalent, and Droll is but like besides the FTK, Droll is really only good against like Striker and like Draco maybe. Yeah. But like yeah, so so I like Droll at two though because like like I I don't always want to see it, but when I do see it, it's good. And and Bell's like in the same boat as Droll. Like in the matchups that it's good against, it's really good against. But aside from that, like it can be kind of bad. Yeah. And then. Gamma is just really, really good. It helps stop hand traps like Droll, which yeah. this deck loses to. And Ash is just Ash. So, yeah. yeah. And I, th I think, like, your deck can get away by playing Droll because, like, you play an OTK deck. Yeah, I play an OTK deck, so if I Droll my opponent, I can, like, I, I can be comfortable enough to be able to... Yeah, whereas, like, Sky Strikers can't play Droll because they just can't capitalize yeah, on it. Yeah, it's, like, the same concept with playing a card like Red Reboot. Like, if you activate it, you're probably, you, like, you're forcing yourself to OTK. Yeah, okay. Then off okay. the spell lineup, I play Triple Fossil League. Yeah. Triple diagram and double terraforming. These yeah. are like my like, consistency spells. It's all standard. Yeah, so you you want to see like this plus one of these in your opening hand. Uh, so yeah, this is all standard. And diagram going to two action hurt this deck as much. Because, diagram or terraforming? Uh, sorry, my 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 yeah. Ter terraform going to really didn't hurt this deck because when I was playing at three, I actually noticed that I was breaking with it, but I was too ignorant to cut it down to two. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, so- So it, now you have a reason to cut it down yeah, to two yeah, so you can yeah, play yeah, it now. Yeah, so now I have like a, re a reason to play it at two. Okay. So it gave me uh, the room to actually fit into the driver in this deck. Okay. And then for the- Because before you would just play uh, three yammers, no driver, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was playing three ogre before. Okay, yeah, but uh, yeah, so- do you, do you think you should have played ogre? No, Ogre sucks because it, it loses. Not, not even against. Uh, I guess yeah. Because yeah, right. it, it, it loses to Midbreaker okay. and like it, the like all, yeah. every, every single card that uh, Ogre hits, uh, Gamma hits, but yeah. also like negates. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So 
Uh, uh, for more spells, I played the double pill. This card's insane. This card's nuts. It uh, summons Conductor from the deck. This card's insane. Uh, I was debating running this card at three though because against the Thunder Dragon matchup, I have no way to search it out. Yeah. So like you're, I, I'm really just banking on hard opening it. Yeah. But the pro the problem with this is that the only way that I could play a three of this mm -hmm. is if I, if as if I were to cut Conductor down to two. And playing three pill and two conductor is just like it's too bricky and there are too many instances where you're gonna miss out their conductor. Yeah. So yeah, so I just like played uh, the two pill. Yeah. Then the one like god card are all the spell cards. I played one foolish burial. Foolish burial. Yes. Not a lot of decks play this. I don't know why, but it's really really busted in this deck because you can uh, mill cards like the miscellaneous source to, yeah. to get its uh, graveyard effect. You can mill cards like the overtech to search your pill. And you can also mill cards like the Giant Rex if you already have pill in your hand. Yep. And another cool thing is that if you already have pill in your hand but you don't happen to open a non-dinosaur, mm -hmm. you can always send a card like Gamma or like any other hand trap or like a True King to the grave, any non-dino. And just pill it. Yeah, and okay. just just you have a legal target for it. I, I did that once against the uh, against the Gumblar Hero deck, and they were like really caught off guard yeah, because you, you don't expect someone to foolish burial hand trap. Okay. Yeah, so that's it for the main deck. We'll now, go into uh, extra deck now. Off to extra. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so yeah, so starting off with the rank fours I played, I played a lot of them. I played uh, one Dweller. Have to. One, D one Dalka, yep. one Lagia. Ulti. And the Utopias. Oh, yeah. So th the reason why you want to play like this lineup exactly is, uh, so for Dweller, he's he just like the best rank four, like like the best legal rank four in my opinion, the legal generic rank four. And then uh, Dalka and Lagia are just... You just I have mean, to play. Yeah, just you, like, ha you have to. It's just, just like when you used to play Dino Rabbit, like you would. Yeah, these cards yeah. are just too good not to play. Yeah, like Dolka and Lagia came up so clutch for me today. I ended up making Lagia against uh, that same sixty card hero Gumblar yeah. guy. Like a like a judgment yeah. on legs. Why would you? Yeah, know? I made Lagia and he couldn't. Uh, he couldn't fog blade me because I was just lagging negated. So oh, I made wow. Lagia conductor and I just killed his board. Yeah. And then lightning is really really good. Like it's just a good like uh, card because Link Creepo really really actually is annoying for this deck to beat yep. because. Uh, it cuts conductor's attack down to zero, and then because conductor's attack is zero, it can't keep attacking things. So, but uh, it can still send though. Yeah, but it, it can still send it if it's already in defense. Yeah. But like it can't attack over big yeah. monsters, and you can't send, uh, you can't uh, book link monsters. So yeah. Okay. And it's also really good. Just helps push for game. Helps yeah. like for like the floating BAs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, for floating BA helps cheese damage. You can also make it to kill like a sky striker link, and then its effect won't trigger. Yeah, which like Ray. Yeah, which, all, which is also okay. pretty good. That's really good. And then for the rank nines, you play the one inch of and the one VFD. Not a lot of people play this card. Andrew Blathner. How do you like this card? Uh, I like Andrew Blathner a lot because in certain matchups where VFD isn't good, like uh, like any back row matchup, really, yeah. uh, they really don't care about VFD because they can go by like an entire turn without using any monster effects. And in those matchups, Andrew Blathner, like matchups like Draco, like Ultra Geist, like Striker, uh, making that Andrew Blathner is really good because throughout the combo, you end up uh, ripping one card out of your opponent's hand no matter yeah. what. And then if you can make an Andrew Blathner on top of that, rip a second card out of your opponent's hand, it, it, yeah, it gives you two chances to snipe cards. So you yeah, can it's like cards. a ghetto hand loop sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so you can hit cards like Engage out of your opponent's hand. You can hit cards like, oh, uh, wow, that's you can hit cards like Diagram, Draco matchup. You can hit like Demise. Yeah. You can hit Ultra Geist cards, all that stuff. It's all, it's all pretty nice. Then for the singles that you play, for level fives, you play one Chanbara yeah. and one Naturia Beast. So yeah, standard cards. So yeah, so the standard, this is for the OTKs, and this you can make going first against certain matchups. How often do you make this card against the Sky Striker matchup? Um, if I know I'm playing against it, I'll make this card every single time. If I don't know, though, I'll just probably go into the next card that I'll show you. Uh, I play Trish. If not, then I'll just go into Trish and the I'll Trish be Trish VFD play. Yeah, and then I'll be able okay. to because like, Trish. A good thing is that it gives you knowledge of my opponent's hand yeah. or what they're um, what they're playing. So if I Trish my opponent and I see like a Widow Anchor or something pop up, yeah. then I'm gonna know that okay, I probably shouldn't make VFD. I'll just make uh, an Enter Blaster and just try to hit another card in mm -hmm. opponent's hand. Then uh, I also played uh, the Omega because I played Gamma, so it's really cool. Yeah, you just might as well. Yeah, because if I not? if you open your standard Diagram Baby combo plus Gamma and your opponent happens to hand trap you while you control no monsters. You can gamma your opponent and essentially gumblar your opponent for four, which is pretty With cool. With that play, yeah, yeah, it's like Dino Gumblars kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, for the last thing I played, I played one Leo. Oh baby, Leo. Uh, I like Leo a lot because so it's a level ten, so you can make it using uh, your True King plus your uh, Tuner, yeah. which it's not the best board, but no, if you have to make it, yeah, it's not the best board. Okay, that makes but, sense. But, but like through hand traps, you know, you you want to put up something. Plus, it's it's like it can stall you like like around like a turn against decks like Striker or Ultra Geist or you know any yep. any de or like a uh, Trick Star like it, it stalls you out a turn. Plus, that's thirty one hundred attack. Meaning, if my opponent has a board load and I make this, then I can just kill oh, the board load. Oh wow! Yeah, they can't even lower. Yeah, it. yeah, because oh, wow. they can't target it. And board load is already really annoying because uh, if I go Conductor attack board load, my opponent can just cut Conductor's attack by five hundred and then they just crash. So yeah. Oh wow.
Yeah, I liked it though. That's so strong. And then for my I uh, put uh, for my last monster I played, I played Lynx. Played one one Phoenix. Yeah, you have to. It's yeah, because standard. it's broken. It, I, I was back row, and it's also fire. Yeah. Meaning it makes it so any two monsters on board can make it uh, my fire tricking uh, legal. Uh -huh. I played the one Reproducus. Oh, best card in Dinos. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So insane. yeah. So. Uh, you play Reproducus for the Trinity Beast play because you would Reproducus your Drac Alo into an Earth, and then you would use your Drac Alo and your oh, Giant Rex wow. because it's already Earth wow, to go into your Trinity Beast. That's actually crazy. And then, I didn't know that. I, I'm good, bro. And then after that, uh, another good thing about Reproducus is that it helps you play under cards like Ravelry because yeah. it, it, sometimes you'll want to be able to like load up your graveyard with Dinos just so you can drop your Connector, and Reproducus allows you to do that because it's a base of Dino. Yeah. And then the last thing I played was Underclock Taker, just for uh, OTKs. Like, and, yeah, like you OTKs. know, helps cl helps clear my extra monster so without giving my opponent a yeah. banner. So yeah, that's it. Any for changes you would make in this or no, nothing. Like the way it is. No. Okay. No, there there be no changes unless we get like new cards or something. On the side deck. Yeah. So onto the side deck, I for the monsters I played one drill. I played the third drill. The third drill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you you need to play because in certain matchups it's really yeah. really good. Uh, you played the triple panker tops. Yeah, this card's insane. Yeah, because it's it's insane. Just like health pop cards. You can summon it out by a uh, pill, which is funny, and it such gives you like, a dryden. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's also a dinosaur, so you can like summon it, pop a card, and then go pill banish from grave to summon yeah, that's, conductor. Yeah, that's crazy. And then uh, you also play uh, because you're playing a combo deck, and you know, like even though you're playing going second, sometimes you'll want to be able to go first. And for that, you play double call by the double game. Call by the just because yeah. you, you want to be able to hit. When the they make trap. you go first, so you yeah. can nappies them and stuff. Yeah, so so you can make sure that card's resolved. Yeah. And even sometimes when they don't hand trap you and you ho and you happen just to save the call by the grave, you can still set it to stop your opponent's graveyard mm -hmm. effects, mm -hmm. which is really good and against like thunder dragon and stuff like that. Because like if they go like hawk target something, you can just call by the grave the hawk, banish it, and then it's it's yeah, done. Negate them both. Yeah, yeah, it's done. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, so then. I played Trill Book of Eclipse as well. Yes, for the standard. Yeah, th this card's insane in Dinos because not only can I like book in my entire opponent's board, like it's good against Thunder Dragons, of course, to help book their board. But uh, one of the problems with Book of Eclipse is that it's a, another one of those cards that decks like Clash you can't play because those decks can't really OTK. Yeah. And so when you yeah, work, there's no there's no point in like uh, Sky Sherry's playing Book of Eclipse just because like. They still have to deal with the monsters. Exactly, yeah. Because with this deck, a Book of Eclipse also has like dual value because it books everything to defense, and then I can just summon Conductor and, and yeah, and I, j I yeah. just send everything. Wow. So yeah, it's just really. It's like really a beat. six conductors kind of. Yeah, it's, it's like playing six different version of conductors. Plus, like having this card going first is already is also pretty funny because I can set it and it's almost like an interruption during my. Yeah, you turn. just book all their monsters. <laughs> yeah, you can't do anything. yeah, you just book everything, and you don't really care if they draw because if their board is like two monsters, then you're just gonna be able to kill them through yeah, anything. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, yeah, for. Uh, Three more spells. You played the triple twinisters. Yeah, you, just uh, helps yeah, so the matchup. It's, it's really really good uh, against back row decks. You really hate back row. You, you don't like dealing with it. Um, mainly like Sky Striker, Ultra yeah. Geist, Paleo Draco, all those. You, you don't want to be able to. It makes uh, a bad matchup for Dinos. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 pretty difficult matchup. And Twisters just really makes it uh, easy. Plus, it also helps just uh, like you know like out uh, troublesome floodgates. And then wrapping the deck up, I played Triple Red Reboot. This card is just like a win button in certain matchups. Like if I'm in the Draco matchup or Ultra Geist or Paleo or any trap heavy matchup, and they flip a trap and I hit them with a reboot, then their entire uh, like interruption play is just done. And then sure, yeah, I paid half my life points and they get to set another card, but it doesn't matter because I have so many ways of OTK yeah. in this deck that like they won't they won't be able to use any of that cards anyways. So yeah. Any uh, shout outs? Anything you'd like to say? Yeah, uh, shout out to my brothers Hamza and Abdullah. Uh, sh shout out to Karamat. A shout out to everybody who showed up at the event. Uh, yeah. And yeah, that's it. Should we be looking forward to more epic dino content from you? Of course. Always All working. Right. This is Hamza signing out. Peace.